So I wanted to show you what I have picked up at the secondhand store. This here is a fondue dish, I believe, or maybe a sushi dish. I feel like that's for chopsticks. This was $2, so it's made of porcelain. It makes a beautiful palette. I also found several of these. These are actually great. They were four for a dollar, four, four for two dollars or something like that. Anyway, not more. None of the stuff I'm showing you is more than a dollar. And I used these for individual, individual colors. Like if I want to mix up a, a one color, activate one particular color, I can use them like that. So I use them like if the, this came four in a pot. So if I know I'm doing a palette worth three or four things, I'll just use these. And it's beautiful. It's it's it's. As much as it feels good to have beautiful colors, it also feels good to have beautiful things to work with. It's part of the presentation. This one I love. It's a little out of the tradition, but you have to think outside the box. I don't know what this is for in life. Maybe snails. I don't know. I have no idea what this would be used for, but I put two or three colors in here and I can easily uh, use that as a palette. It's fun and it's, it's small. So small is sometimes good because we're trying to there gets to be a lot of stuff on your on your table when you're doing watercolor, like your your water, your palette, your paints, your napkins, your paper towel, your brushes. It's chaos. This is a traditional fondue plate. Love the size. It's about the size of my hand. There are bigger ones in the, that look like this, and we do use them in class. Um, but this one is quite cute, round and small, and it's got the word chocolate on it, so I can keep, you know. I don't use colors because colors doesn't allow me to see what my pink colors are. So I don't use colors when I'm choosing something. It's always either clear or white. I prefer the white so that I can see how my palette is working and how my how I'm mi my mix is so that I can see what's going on. I prefer a white base. So that makes a beautiful puddle and you can have five, six colors at once. So three, six, six colors going at once, which is great. So you can mix and match. I love that. I, I, this is a no-no. I bought this at the dollar store. I think, look at that. She's alive, guys. I bought this at the dollar store. And to be honest with you, it beads. So plastic is not your friend. And non-stick is not your friend. I bought thinking this was the greatest thing that ever happened to me. I bought these from the, a company called Beam Paints, B-E-A-M, -E -E Beam Paints. Anyway, absolutely stunning, like a beam of light, beam. Anyway, they're made in Canada. They are amazing. They are lovely to work with. And this is an option for them for palettes. So I bought this thinking, wow, this is great. And it is great. Went to one of the local stores and bought seven enamel, brownie dishes for lack of a better word this is like a to bake and guess what they are non-stick so non-stick does this it beads so no good don't do that so like non-stick is not our friend either we need the real enamel real porcelain and raw like not covered with anything non-stick so this is how we want them the porcelain works well heavy if you're going to take them around with you I, I move around the house quite a bit so it's they are these are heavier and when I have the class going on I have four or five in my hands at a time and it becomes a little heavier so that's something I also like to use these we use these in class um, and this is just from the dollar store and it's a porcelain bowl it's shaped like a heart I find it cute everybody gets two I find it lovely and when you do watercolor and anything art as far as I'm concerned having things that make you feel inspired helps. I use various paints. I put them in pretty pots. Like I, I always have my, my little watercolors in nice little pots so that I can enjoy them. So that's how I like to do things. It makes it more inspiring. It's, it's the, the beautiful colors that you like, the dishes that you like, the, pour, the, the palettes, the paper, it's all part of the experience. So the, the feeling and the textures um, become part of the experience. So for me, it's very much important and I enjoy it that way. And I enjoy having various sketchbooks that I that I love to consult. I love when my 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 sketchbooks become full and they tell a story of themselves. Like this was when I was traveling somewhere. I was in Barbados for this one and I was in Italy for another one and I know where I was. When I look at it I know. I carry the small book with me with a small little um 
set of pans, like a pan paint, a travel kit, and it's just, it's just beautiful. This is a church that I, that I sat, I, we stayed near this church in Italy, <clears throat> various, ver this is Positano, I mean, I was on a train, so I think it's not too bad, <laughs> anyway, um, so that's it, so these are some of the things that I use and I enjoy and I wanted you to know. And so when you're out in the world of secondhand stores and thrifting, take a look at what's possible and keep your mind open because things that I might not see, I'd love you to let me know and let me know what you think and find if you find different things, like a snail dish would be good. One lady had uh, deviled eggs. There was a dish with deviled eggs, so there was all little holes, so they made perfect puddles. So keep your mind open and let me know. Even a white dish is great to work with. So even just a plain white dish, no need to spend all kinds of money. And this allows us to reuse, reduce, reuse, recycle. This is that process. And it really does help us in the watercolor world. Have a great rest of your day.